So in uh, previous videos, we've been looking at frequency histograms. You'll remember, first of all, we did a frequency histogram like this one, a uh, number of people, one, two, three, four, five, and then the frequencies up here. And then we did a frequency histogram where there were class intervals. And the only difference there was we had to calculate the class center first and then put the class centers in. Uh, those are frequency histograms. Now, something that goes along with frequency histograms very regularly is something called a frequency polygon. Now, a frequency polygon is the red line that you see here. Okay. Um, now, we're just going to draw a couple of those. We're going to draw them using our previous examples, uh, if, if this will work for me. Yeah, let's bring that onto this page so we can draw it. And we'll do another one with this one. Bring this onto this page. Now, a frequency polygon, it's a, it's a really easy thing to do, and I think it's also free marks as well. Uh, a couple of things that you need to note. Uh, your lines. Lines must be straight. Now I'm not going to do a very good job of that because I'm using this funny little uh, computer pen, but when you draw the lines, the lines must be straight. Lines must link centers. Okay, so you can see here the line goes to the center of each column. The line goes to the center of each column. And then lines must finish at y-axis and half a space at the end. Okay, so what I mean by that is you can see that our line starts here at the y-axis and it should always do that. And our line starts here half a step after the last column. So if I was going to draw it here, I'm going to put some dots here first so we know where we're joining. We're joining these black dots here. Now I need to start at the y-axis and finish half a column, that's only one square, over to here. Uh, let's use green. So straight lines. Mine won't look straight. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Straight line, straight line. We have successfully created a frequency polygon. So if you're asked to draw a histogram, that's a histogram. And often you'll get asked to draw a histogram and a frequency polygon. And this is a this is the combo. This is the histogram frequency polygon value meal that you guys will have to do quite regularly. Uh, and you can see we can do the same thing here. So again. Find your middles, find your ends, half a step forward at the origin, that's the, the y-axis, x-axis bit, and then straight lines. Straight line, straight line, this one's going to be hard, oh, sorry guys, straight line, straight line, rulers, straight line. Straight line. I know I'm being pedantic about this, talking about straight lines and half a step and all the rest of it. Um, the reason for this is because I believe that in the exam, these histogram and frequency polygons, they're really a chance for free marks. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of thinking. It just takes a little bit of practice to make sure that you're doing these really, really neatly. Uh, when I see you again in class next, make sure that you can show me a couple of these and go, look, does this look good? Does this look right? Do I need to change anything about it? Um, uh, I'd really like to see everyone acing these kinds of questions because they really are, like I said, uh, free marks. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. We're looking at frequency polygons. And don't forget, this is the combo. So if you're ever asked to draw a histogram and a frequency polygon, that's what you're looking at. And that's what you're looking at. Histogram plus frequency polygon.